Durham is a place that feels like home. I remember just arriving, as you come in on the train, you see the cathedral, and I was just like, I want to live here. Started Durham doing loads and loads of rugby. Every day, rugby, gym, rugby. Really, really intense, fun, fun time with the guys. I guess, like most 14, 15 year olds, when I used to play, I used to put loads of pressure on myself. Probably because a lot of my identity was shaped with how good I was doing on the pitch. So I spent a lot of my teenage years being really angry at God and at Jesus because of the way that he had been presented to me by the church and by other people. But then I met the person of Jesus in the Gospels. I think Jesus is, is not a far distant entity, he's not a stained glass window, he's a real human being who has, you know, the scars and the bruises from being a carpenter. My only experience of kind of religion, till I was probably about 12, was classic village church hymns and Stone Cold Building. That was all I ever really knew. So when I first kind of realised that Christianity wasn't a religion and it wasn't a set of do's and don'ts, but actually it was a relationship, I could not see how it squared up with my experience of church before that. It's really easy to keep calm and appear kind of like the perfect Christian. There's no point in trying to present myself as perfect because I'm not perfect. We're not judged on what we do. We're not judged on how many hours we clock up working in the charity shop, how many old ladies we help across the street. Jesus is a friend. To say that Jesus is my friend is to say that he has been with me. He isn't just kind of an aloof guy on a cloud. He's, he's there and he's feeling it and he's, he's with you. This was it, this is what I wanted. And this is where I felt whole. Learning how to be me and how to discover who I was through him. The fact that Jesus died for me, died an awful death on a cross so that I can be saved, that's genuine love. He's seen everything that I've said, thought and done, yet was willing to save me, loved. Loved.